It's time for Cruise News, the latest cruise news throughout the world. So sit back and relax and enjoy Cruise News. Hi everyone, what a week we've had in the cruise industry. Before I tell you my top news stories, that includes one news story from my four-day Carnival Radiance cruise that I took this past week, I want to let you know, uh, after the news stories, I will have very interesting uh, video clips of my Carnival Radiance cruise, followed by a special news report at the end of this video. Be sure to check it out. This past week, I went on a Carnival Radiance four-day cruise to Catalina and Ensenada. After bad weather changed Catalina Port Day from Tuesday to Wednesday, an amazing sighting of a hundred of dolphins were seen on both sides of the Carnival Radiance cruise ship when it left the port. The cruise director announced the dolphin sightings and said he's never seen anything like it before. Here's a video clip of the dolphins. A couple from Florida sold their house and bought a $2.5 million, 721 square foot cabin on MV Narrative new residential cruise ship that set sail in 2025. Resorts World Cruises has announced its newest cruise ship, Resorts World One, which will be the first cruise ship to return to cruising in China. The outside of the ship is beautifully designed. Here's a picture of this ship. Carnival Sunrise recently had a cruise to nowhere when they experienced bad weather between Charleston, South Carolina to the Bahamas and they returned back to South Carolina without going to any ports. Passengers received refunds for their port fees, taxes, and shore excursion expenses. Carnival Corporation has signed a new agreement with SpaceX Starlink, that is a leader in low earth orbit satellite technology to provide faster service, greater capacity, and more Wi-Fi on a global scale. Cruise ships traveling through the Caribbean have been making many rescues the last couple of weeks of Cuban migrants trying to enter the United States on boats or rafts that have trouble staying afloat. It's a migrant crisis that's becoming more evident and cruise ships are making many more rescues. Holland America is back in Asia with their Western Dam cruise ship currently visiting a series of Indonesian ports. It's the first ship of the premium brand to cruise in the region since 2020. Carnival Cruise is having a busy 2023, introducing new ship Carnival Celebration and planning another new ship introduction later this year the Carnival Jubilee. Great Lake Cruises are getting more popular. Disney Cruise Line launched a new Pixar Day at Sea aboard Special Voyages on the Disney Fantasy through mid-March 2023. Holland America is adding larger casinos to several of their ships. Port St. John is celebrating 35 years. AAA Auto Club said that this could be Florida Cruise Industries' comeback year. Silver Sea Cruises Silver Spirit arrived in Hong Kong at Ocean Terminal on January 18th, marking the first international cruise after a three-year hiatus. Royal Caribbean announced two additional 12-night cruises between Singapore to Tokyo, Japan. I'm going to the spa on Carnival Radiant Ship. This is one of the fun things I like to do on the ship. 
Um, what's great is the room we have is the Cloud9 Spa Room. Um, it's included with the cost of this um, room. So I'm going every day, all four days of my trip. Uh, it's fantastic. This is the second day. I loved it last night. I, it was relaxing and soothing. Um, I can't wait to get there right now. Going to the spa. This video is my Cloud9 stateroom number 1015. Carnival Radiance still has the special deal with this room, which includes Cloud9 Spa's thermal suites. This is a video of Cardinal Radiance food on board the ship. The food is still very good. I found a very special place on board the Carnival Radiance ship this week. It's the Heroes Tribute Bar and Lounge to recognize the sacrifices made by armed services personnel and their families. They are our true heroes. If you buy a souvenir glass at Heroes Tribute Bar, Carnival will don donate $1 of your purchase to Operation Homefront. This organization provides military families with rent-free housing helping get wounded veterans and their loved ones uh, back on their feet. a fun moment on the Carnival Radiance pool deck during the Ensenada Port Day with tall animals. This is a video clip of the Salaway party on Carnival Radiance ship this past week. Cruise travel is making a comeback from pandemic times. That was evident this past week on Carnival Radiance ship that was filled to capacity.
If you're interested in booking a future cruise, this is a time to do it. Every year, January through March, is called wave season, when cruise lines offer the best deals for cruises. If you find a great wave season deal, you can choose to sell during that time or later in the year. You don't have to book it and travel before March. Wave season deals aren't necessarily the cheapest deals you'll ever see. Rather, they can provide the most bang for your buck, such as a better cabin or free excursions. Cruise lines are making a comeback from the pandemic, and it's expected that they will all raise their prices in the near future. Be sure to book your cruise soon. Thank you for tuning in to Cruise News. Until next time, happy cruising!